We're back and revisiting a great classic from 1997. This is GoldenEye 007. GoldenEye 007 really set the pace for what shooters were back in the day. Originally on the Nintendo 64, it has now been re-released on the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox series of consoles. That's where I'm playing it personally, and that matters because we're going to get into, is it a faithful recreation, remaster? What does it look like nowadays? The short answer is yes, but that's not to say it doesn't have problems. There are some frame rate issues, there are some control issues that I've seen spoken about for the Nintendo Switch, and that's really a drag because you're adapting what used to be on the 64 controller, quite strange, into a new modern controller, but that seems to have had some issue when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. Now, people can remap the buttons and make it a little bit better, I've seen, but they're really just waiting for an update to kind of smooth things out. On the Xbox side of things, I can report that everything feels pretty good. There may be some bugs that people are having out there, but I really haven't experienced anything other than a great trip down memory lane. The younger generation is really not going to appreciate how this game looks. Like, we have to keep reminding ourselves it is about 25 years old now, so the graphics have aged, and although this has been slightly cleaned up, it's mostly in terms of frame rate. We're now at 60 FPS, and there has been an upscale into a higher resolution, but that really doesn't show very well in this title. Now, this is a classic, and what I remember from back in the day measures up with what I see now, because it's all exactly like I remember. There's no HD texture upgrades or anything like that, and in my opinion, nor should there be. There's nowhere near enough polygons to make that look proper, and well, if you look at the NPC characters, it's very obvious this is a, an aged relic. Although the graphics aren't very nice, the audio, however, is almost exactly as I remember. You may see some people pointing out that there is a lack of radar pings, some static noises. These are all very, very small details in things like the pause menu music. Now, if you're a fan of the old game, you will remember that pause menu music went just a little too hard, but it does still keep that kind of feeling, that flavor from what I'm used to, and it was great. Each level has its own little jingle behind it, some swanky 007 tunes, and that sets the tone for exactly what you're doing. You are 007 James Bond, and he is perhaps the best worst spy in history. So how does 007 measure up nowadays? Well, I might have fond memories and rose-tinted glasses perhaps, but I'm running through this game and I'm loving every moment of it. A lot of the memories are flowing back and the things I don't remember are still intriguing to me now. Now, the audio direction really pulls this game forward and it's... there's really not much to be said other than it's the exact classic that it was back before. I really wish we could have seen some upgrades in terms of online multiplayer, but the absence of that is okay because my memories from the N64 were all split screen and that is included as well. This game is just as beautiful as I left it off 25 years ago now. That's crazy to say, but this is a 9 out of 10. It's almost, almost perfect, if not just for a little bit of frame rate. <laughs> 